This case involves a patient that developed a small area of tissue damage in the cervical spinal cord following the cervical facet joint injection. It was claimed that the needle for the injection was inserted too far and that the tip of the needle actually penetrated the spinal canal and caused the damage to the cord. Initially, our client contacted us in hopes of showing that the needle used in the injection could not possibly be long enough to enter the spinal canal. Trial exhibits determined that it would not be sufficient to simply dispute the claim of the plaintiff. It was also necessary to explain the cause of the spinal cord damage with a theory that the jury could understand. We all agreed that an animation would be the best way to explain our alternate theory. Our theory of the spinal cord damage was an embolic stroke caused by a blood clot blocking blood flow to the specific region of the cord. First, it was necessary to explain blood flow through the segmental and radicular arteries to the spinal cord. Next, we animated the insertion of the needle through the back of the neck for the intended facet block injection. Although it is clear that the needle for this injection was not long enough to reach the spinal cord, it is possible that the needle hit one of the posterior branches of the radicular artery. At the site of the injection, we clearly showed that the affected vessel began to spasm after the injection, leading to the development of a blood clot. This clot gradually grew back along the course of the vessel until it reached the larger segmental artery. This is where the piece of the clot breaks off and flows through the radicular artery to the posterior aspect of the spinal cord. At the conclusion of the trial exhibit's animation, it is clear that the clot becomes lodged, blocking blood flow and leading to the development of a region of ischemia. The plaintiff alleged that this region of cord damage was caused by the facet injection needle. Our animation shows an alternate theory of clot formation and embolic stroke that is much more likely to have occurred. In addition to custom solutions, Trial Exhibits offers over 1,000 stock medical illustrations and animations. Check out our gallery at www.trialex.com.